four subscribers. That seems like not everyone I've been interviewing, it's like millions of followers. However, you have 84 subscribers and you make on average $1,000 a month from these subscribers. Yeah, boom. Oh, well, we are family. Oh, 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 oh. We got my uh, sister with me. Yeah, you do though, you do. I'm just getting everything set up. What's up guys? I am here with my brother. Yeah, a lot of people are like, yo, you got a brother? Yeah, I do. His name is Byron. And today's podcast is all about him and streaming and Twitch. So if you're somebody that is thinking of getting into Twitch, you better stick around because he's going to I'll give you a little bit of a little bit of info. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. just just yeah. a little, just a little background. Oh yeah, I needed to let like, yes, I need to let you know. Let's go. Um, so right now I'm in Vancouver. This is where my, my brother lives here, and I'm staying at a hotel because uh, I'm here for some conference. And uh, and they put me in this fancy fancy hotel room, and the sun is setting. So soon this might be dark, but I want to at least show you this view before. And you know, in like 40 minutes when this podcast is done, you're going to be like, oh, that's because the sun was setting the entire time, but. Yes, hopefully, you know, you feel like you're in Vancouver with me. I need to just show you this real quick. Um, okay, Ooh, let's go back. Let's get you back on, on track. Let's get you back on track. Let's get back on track. If you are new to this video podcast, this is the podcast all about how creators make money online. Now, the reason why I wanted my broski over here to come onto the podcast is because it's a little bit more of a unique situation where um, you are a Twitch streamer. You stream every night for how many hours? Four to five, four and a half, five. Okay. You have 84 subscribers. 84 fluctuates, 120 to 84. It fluctuates quite a lot. Okay. Now, listen to that, all right? 84 subscribers. That seems like not everyone I've been interviewing. It's like millions of followers. However, you have 84 subscribers and you make on average $1,000 a month from these subscribers? Not just subscribers, it's not just that. I wish it was just subscribers, but okay. no, it's also the donations that come in through the months to week to week. You just don't know what's gonna happen, so it can really fluctuate. But on average, it's about $1,000 it comes to. Would you say, just based on the subscribers then, what would your base be, like 500? Uh, around there, yeah. Probably, uh, yeah, four to $500. But you see, that's like yeah. pretty crazy to me because if you had 84 subscribers on YouTube, you'd be like, and not yeah there's nothing there. okay yeah you know um so i really wanted to this is really speaking to the person who maybe wants to start making content online and obviously wants to make some money doing it uh hopefully uh because you know who doesn't like to make some moolah uh and it's you know it's your time it's your effort so you know reaping the rewards for your creativity and uh, like, there's nothing better. Obviously, if you're new, uh, one thing I like to implement throughout the podcast is my handy-dandy lie detector. So, no, Byron. I, I thought we got, I got the pass on this thing. Why? Because I'm your brother. You're getting even more. Uh, We're going to do double the questions. No! So, obviously, uh, I, I like to authenticate these questions with this very realistic, uh, you know, $30 Amazon lie detector. Uh, oh, Amazon. So. Oh, Amazon, that owns Twitch. Oh, Do you swear yeah. to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Yes. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you told the truth. Yes. Was like, yeah, I wasn't sure. I don't I'm, know. I'm put on the I don't highest. know how it works. I'm putting it on the highest. I just Whoa, put it on what? the highest Why? shock value. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to tell the truth, so it's all good. We're good. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. So I should preface before we go into this, um, our parents don't even know that Byron is a streamer at night. Um, we actually were just at dinner and they were like, so why are, why is Byron going to film? Because I was like, oh, Byron's coming over later to film. And they were like, to what? Like talk about finance? Like he works at a bank in the day. He's like, they were like, I'm so confused. Um, and I've almost let it slip a few times. So anyways, um, if they, if you're watching, um, Hi mom, hi dad, <laughs> I stream. <laughs> How did you start? So I started because one of my good friends, he started working at the hospital at night, so he's like, hey, you know the Xbox can let you stream and I can watch your gameplay while I'm at work. And I'm like, okay, we can hang out doing that. So I put my wood chair 
sat it down on my one desk with my MacBook next to me so I could read the chat because he types in the chat, and I would play video games. And I would play, I was very good at Call of Duty. That's why he liked watching me play. Uh -huh. So I started playing Call of Duty, and I was very good at it. So he's like, oh man, this is enjoyable. All of a sudden, people just started to show up and ask me questions and started answering those questions. And before he knew it, I got a donation. And I was like, wait, what? So he <laughs> just gave me money to play a video game that I was playing for the fun of it anyways and enjoying. And before How he knew it- How much was that donation? It was just $20. That's a lot. I thought we were gonna say like $5. No, it was $20. I was like, is this real? And then other people started making a little bit of donations. I was like, well, what's going on here? And before he knew it, I was like, this is fun. And this just became a, a new thing that I didn't even know existed. And I was like, oh, wow. I think I can turn this into something. And How I can, long ago was that? How many years ago? Two years. Two years and uh, a couple months. Two, and a, two years and a couple months. Okay. So it's been a, it's that been a bit. That gives like a good perspective to somebody who's starting. Right. Yeah. So um, it started with one person in chat, but that person, it, 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 I was fortunate enough to have someone in chat that was very active. When you have someone in chat that's active, it tends to bring in more people that will chat too because what you have someone What do you mean? Active. Like it's somebody who just like is chatting to you all the time? Or just with other people in the chat. If they oh, say hi, okay. if I miss it because I'm in the middle of a game that then I'm Then they can start talking exactly. to somebody else. So then so it's just a becoming build, a yeah. community. And before you know it, you have more people that want to build on that community. And before you know it, you don't even have to really be there. You can go to the watch room, the chair's going, and they're still having a conversation and enjoying it. You come back, it's fine. Uh, that can fluctuate, but it's, it, it's still something that you can really start to build. You find that the same people start coming in and you really get to know each person. And for me personally, I try to take into account, even though I have, so many, I have average between around 75 average viewers now, I try to get to know every single person that comes in, whether you follow about 7,000 followers now. And of those, I probably, the consistent ones that come in a couple of times, I will at least know where they're from at least. I try to make it an effort to do that. So what do you like about Twitch um, versus the other platforms? Um, well, Twitch started out as just a gaming community. Uh, it's definitely changed over the couple of years that I've been there, but it started out as a gaming community where people can just go enjoy a game and sort of like focus on that part of it, ask questions about that game and not really have to like, and, and usually see someone that's playing at a high caliber level. But do you, okay, keep going. No, go ahead. But do you, but is it only gamers? Like I'm thinking if I'm a creator, you know, my first instinct is like, I'm going to like this platform because I don't have to edit, you know? So which makes things really nice. Right. So they're, they're, now they have this thing called IRL, which is becoming huge. It's What's in it? real life. Yeah. So that has become a huge thing. People want to see what people do on a day-to-day -day thing. So they walk around and they travel and people want to watch that in real life. So you're not editing. There's nothing to do. For me personally, I like the fact that if there's a mistake, there's Nothing you can do about it. You just move on from it. You try to do the best you can. There's no editing. Uh, you try to make it enjoyable. You try to listen to music that people like if you want to listen to music. Uh, you try to have good content. And that's the main thing about it with, with your overlays to what happens if someone subscribes to you, someone follows you. you, can, you there's so much you can do within that, in that time frame, even though it's live. There's just so much you can do. And you, I think I love that part about it. You must really feel like the people who watch your stuff really love you for you because it's not like you've had to edit it to a point to be a, like a version of you. It's right. like the people who are there really like you because mm -hmm. it's... Right, and, and I, everyone sort of comes with their own kind of idea of what they want to do for their channel. For me, I consider myself more of on the PG side of things just because I have a son and I know that when my son grows up, I want to be able to say, hey, that's my dad. And if he wants to come watch that, he'd have an ability to watch that at a younger age mm -hmm. just to see sort of what I'm doing because he's not going to have so much negative content or negative chat messages that happen too often. So my moderators that I put in place are, are very observant of that in chat. Would yeah. you say as a whole on Twitch that there are more negative channels than positive? Uh, it really depends on the channel. Every person, every, every person that's creating something on there, they have their own view of how they want to control it. And but what I think about that's the bigger nice. people? It can vary. The biggest okay. ones, I would say, have uh, a bit of a toxicity, toxicity to it, uh, but other ones can be very, very positive. So it really depends what you're looking for. You can find anything you, you're looking for on Twitch. Hmm. I remember when I first um, was talking with Byron, I was like, you know, being like controversial. And like, I mean, if you've seen, if you haven't seen it yet, watch like the Harley Mornstein um, Epic Mealtime podcast. Check me out. I'm live on Twitch is not as good as a status as I am so excited to be on Twitch or you are gonna be angry as hell when you see what I'm playing on Twitch. These are the things that Facebook loves. Facebook loves emotion. Emotion. 
he kind of talks about like, you know, we're really living in a time where controversy really, you know, gets people's attention and that emotion, even Facebook, they favor emotion. Mm -hmm. So winning on positivity, I find, is really difficult. And your your thing you said is like, oh, like, I don't care. Like, this has to be, I want it to be the most positive community. Um, and, yeah. And, and it is hard. You definitely will build, you will grow slower. You will grow slower. You have to understand that. If you're negative, if you're one of those people that freak out, yes, you will get an attention that people will watch this and be like, what's going to do? What's he, what's he going to do next? Like, that's going to be the thing. He's live. What is he going to do next? So those ones do peak. And if they can continue to do that, that's great. But for what I want to do, what I want to contribute to what I want to see and what I want to see for my, my son, like I said. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what I want to see is something that's a bit more positive so that I feel that's how I'm going to contribute to this. Whether I'm going to grow slower or faster, it, it really depends. But I, 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 see, I see growth. That's the main thing for me. What do you think are, like, really good growth strategies now that you've hit that point of, like, you know, on average, $1,000 a month, what are some things people can do to grow? Be it collaboration? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know too much about it. Um, I think a lot of collaboration, I haven't put as much time as I want to into this. I still have a full-time job. I'm not going to quit my day job yet. Um, I, I really feel that if I did, there could be potential there, but I'm not willing to do what a lot of people say, like, just quit and just, you know, try it out. I, I have too much riding on pe people riding on me that I can't just do that and take the chance at the moment. I think if we continue, if I do continue to grow uh, in the steps, maybe in a year or so, I might relook that. Um, building more content, collaborating with other streamers, uh, casters as well is a, definitely a good way to go. And uh, what happened for me is I have a game called Rocket League, which I switched to for a while. And that game, I just hosted tournaments. And those tournaments brought in people that were very good. So if you have caliber, like really good caliber players that are participating in your stream, that I'm like, why are you even here? You're so good. You're like number one in Rocket League. Like, that's extremely hard to do and maintain. And here you are playing in my small tournament, which started to grow because people were like, oh, he's playing it? I want to watch this. So uh, there's just ways that you can sort of find, you can find ways to really grow. It's only, the thing is, you don't want to get caught in a place for gaming, at least, where you're stuck to one game. And that's my biggest fear, that I'm going to be like, oh, I, the second I get out of Rocket League now, I'm going back to something else. It's like, oh, there goes your viewership. There goes a lot of things. So you got to really control that as best you can if you're, if you're willing, if you want to do that. Yeah. And come on podcasts like this. Everyone, go subscribe. Oh, yeah. I got a Twitch. I, 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 got, a, I got a YouTube channel. I just haven't updated. You do? Yeah, I just it's it's so small. No, no, like, no, I don't but even, like if if they yeah. like have Twitch, they might. I mean, oh, I yeah. don't know if you do have you, Twitch. You, like, you don't want to say subscribe then when you're because subscribe on Twitch is very different than on YouTube. Oh, so subscribing follow. is an actual dollar that you're subscribing. No, you don't want to do oh. that. Following the channel is great. See if you like the know. content that happens, <laughs> and then if you want to support it in a monetary option, you definitely have that option. Uh, I'm glad you said that because yeah. I wouldn't. I mean, mm -hmm. it is sort of weird that it's called subscribe as well, but I'm so used to it being on YouTube and it just right. means subscribe. But yeah, definitely go give him him a follow, um, which also seems a little bit weird to say uh, because I guess. Uh, well, they went with you're following that channel. So you're following that channel. So if you follow that channel, if I go live, you can have it notify you that I'm going live now. So you can jump in and say hello. Okay. Uh, so I'll put so, the yeah. link in the in the description. And then awesome. you can go. Yeah. Or what's it called? BBJK26, yeah. 26. Yeah, you got Is it, it just twitch.com slash BB? Twitch.tv forward slash BBJK26. Cool. Yeah. Twitch.tv. Yeah. It, that's the, uh huh. So what advice do you have for somebody who is thinking of? Like opening a Twitch account, like is it a hard process or, you know, what, what would you say is like the first thing, first few things they got to do? Okay, first things you have to do when you're starting out on Twitch, um, sort of give an idea of what your channel is going to be like. We'll create a channel, obviously, through Twitch. And then after that, there's a way to put a bio in, a little bit of information about yourself. I would say don't ignore that because when I like to host people, like I ho you can host other channels. When you get offline, you host someone, you raid them, and you have a lot of fun with it because then your guys come in and you meet somebody new that way. That's what we used to do a lot more. Now there's an auto host option, so I think it's taken away a little bit from that. But sometimes we do do raids, and those are a lot of fun to do. Um, so I look... Personally, I look for someone that has a bio that's actually taking the time to actually put some information in there, not just donate to me, because it, mm -hmm. it just doesn't seem like it's something that they're looking long term. Mm -hmm. So build a bio, what you want to accomplish in your channel. After you do that, stay consistent. You can have good days and bad days, days you don't want to. 
especially like I do it every day, but Thursday, I take one day off a week for this. Like I try, I try, I'm really, I'm pretty good at it. Um, but the thing is sometimes, some days you're just like, I'm tired. Yeah. But you just gotta, you gotta mm-hmm. power through that. You really gotta power through it, uh, or find a way. Um, that's what I would say. Stay consistent because they expect you to be on at certain times. Be on. If you want to be mm-hmm. earlier, that's great. They, they will love that. So that's but they consistently come back to like hang out with you. Yep. They're like, oh, you're, you're here. Or, and not, mm. you don't always get notified. That's the scary thing. Like sometimes you go live, like mm. I didn't get notified, but they came to the channel because they know I'm usually around that time. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm there. Hmm. Yeah. So does that like make things hard? Like you want to go on a, I don't know, like date or you want to go out to, you know, a family function or something yeah. like that. Like that kind of makes things a little difficult. That's why I stream pretty late at night. Uh, I, I start 10.30 Pacific, so hello, East Coast. I know you don't see me. Um, that but, might be something to consider for them. Yeah, I know. Starting it's really at a, at a Earlier time. time would be great for me, but unfortunately, until I, like, remove the job, the actual full-time job, it's very hard for me to do because I do need to have some personal time where, between my actual work, eating, meeting a couple of friends or doing something, and then starting my stream. So um, for now, it's what's working. Can I grow faster if I change my hours? I think 100% it would. Mm. 100% would if I have the hours to do it. So I think someone that's in college or someone that's uh, just finished college and is like, oh, I want to give this a shot, I think that's your best time to do it. Uh, go, go hard if you can. Go full-time if you can. Uh, find a part-time job for, to sort of supplement yourself a little bit and just see what you can do with it. Realistically, when you think of Twitch and doing it full-time, do you think it's a realistic goal to have you know yes like it seems completely like and and if somebody was like i want to do this and do you think it's a platform that you that you genuinely think um you could probably start generating revenue quicker than other platforms um there's a lot of arguments i mean mixer the microsoft one is coming up Mm -hmm. they've been pushing a lot facebook video as well there a lot of people are trying to get into this area uh to start capturing and they've actually uh grabbed a lot of the bigger twitch casters and streamers just because they really want to start building their foundation and they figured that's the fastest Mm. way to start doing it so but i don't think you know twitch is part of amazon they have a lot of deals in place they're very strong uh, as where they are if you have amazon prime uh, you get all these additional benefits on Twitch. You can subscribe. Like, like So subscribing to a channel through, if you have Amazon Prime, if you, you can subscribe to a, a channel every month for free. So that's $5. Oh, so that's wow, a subscribe cool. option. It's free to do. It's part of the benefits that you have for Prime. A lot of people don't even realize that they have this, that you can support any up and comer as long as they're an affiliate or partner with uh, oh, within wow. Twitch. So it, it's so it's you free. should do that if you have Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime yeah. and you have some friends that are partnered. You have to be partnered, or right? affiliated. So it's even easier to get affiliated. It's it's. What's it's, the difference? Um, you just don't get ad revenue from uh, the ads that come. Okay. Well, actually, yeah. let's get into that. But before I finish that sentence, go and find one of those friends and use that five dollars. And then wait. And then what happens if you? Subscribe yep. to that person the five dollars. That's every every month they're getting every that month. five dollars. They have so to remember the end, to do it. You're what they have to remember to do it every month. Oh, it so they only have five dollars. It's not like they renew a different person every. They week. can. So after the five dollars, it'll tell you you can renew it again in a month. But you could. But if it's not like person. a yearly annual no. thing, it's only like five dollars for somebody. Okay, but regardless, do that. Um, I want to talk about these things like the out. Oh, my foot's almost asleep. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm like sitting up as high as I can. He's like, he's pretty tall. Like, I don't know. I can be shorter. Yeah. No. It's yeah, I definitely did not get the tall gene. That's okay. Um, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Obviously. Better you than me. <laughs> what are some, like, just general differences between being affiliated and being a partner? All right. Well, uh, there, there's, there's a little bit of a difference. Uh, it's not too big of a difference, actually, but there is a little bit of a difference. Okay. Uh, with an affiliate, it's actually quite easy to qualify for. They didn't make it too hard. You have to have, I think, I believe, I can't even Are you double an affiliate? check. I'm an affiliate, yes. Okay. Uh, but I don't even remember the criteria. It's pretty simple. I think it's just three viewers average per month. You have to have about 20 hours, I think. Okay. Um, it's just certain consistencies that you, they want to see as well. Okay. And then they'll give you the, the affiliate badge, which will give you the ability to then receive subscriptions. Uh, those subscriptions that you receive, okay. the time frame in order to receive any of that cash is a bit longer. So it's about 45 days 
that you have to wait from when they subscribe. So if they donate $5 with that subscription, you have to wait 45 days and you have to have at least $100 with them before they'll pay it out. Whoa, okay. A lot of information. Whoa. So wait, Bang. repeat. Okay, so affiliate, in like a very easy term, okay. a difference between an affiliate and a partner. Partner, ad revenue. Okay, so you split revenue. So of that $5 of a subscriber... It's still 50-50 in the beginning. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when you oh. when someone subscribes, you can make 50-50. It's yeah. that Twitch is going to put ads on your channel. Yeah, they already do. With an affiliate, they put ads on your channel. We just don't get anything from it. Okay. With a partner, With a partner you, you get can, paid. And yes, and you can run additional ads if you would like to. Do you have to just set up the ads? Uh, no, you don't, you don't choose the ads. Or you mean ads. you just put there's as many a, ad there's blocks There's an as option to put it on, so... Okay, got it. Yeah. With the affiliate, you can't put ads on. It's automatic. Or it's already automatically. automatically in place. What else is there, sorry? Um, the 50-50, uh, which... Yeah, that's already there for yep. subscribing. Yeah, yeah. And yep. then anything else, or...? Uh, just the receiving of cash is a bit longer of a term to receive it. Got it. Yep. Okay. Got it. Yep. Now I get it. Okay. Yeah. And then, can you explain the emotes? Because, like, oh, I yeah. do kind of know about emotes because you told me a little bit mm -hmm. about it, but maybe talk about a little so bit about it. The emotes are probably one of the most fun thing to do once you're uh, an affiliate or a partner. With a partner, you get a lot more emotes. You get about five. I guess that's a big difference between affiliate and partner. Mm -hmm. uh, you get about five emotes or four emotes to start. And... What do emotes do? Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah, Let's I, get back to that. Yeah. Uh, what emotes are. <laughs> uh, you've heard of emojis. Yes. All right. Well, now you get personal emojis for your channel. And you get to design them yourself. Well, if you can design them yourself. I'm, okay. I'm not gifted enough to try But you that, could. But, but you could do oh, your yeah. custom Oh, yeah. One. Definitely. You can create custom emotes, uh, emojis uh, that you would like. So that way when someone does subscribe to your channel, they get that specific emoji slash emote that they can use on any other channel or yourself. So then that way when they're coming in and they want to use it, you know that they have actually contributed more than just being there, but they've actually contributed some type of monetary value. So how, can you, do you get an emote by just subscribing to somebody? Yep. Do you get a different emote based off of different tiers? So with, with Twitch, they've rolled out three tiers. Tier one, which is $5. Mm -hmm. Tier two, $10. And tier three, $25. Okay. So with those three, each, each different level will give you an additional emote. And a different one for each level. Yeah. So if you're a tier three, uh, if, if you contribute to the tier three, which is $25, you'll get all three that you can use in the channel. Oh, but then there's a special one. Say it's like a pineapple that you get in tier three. Right. So then if they go into the chat, they're like, yeah, I got the pineapple I because exactly. I paid 25 yes. Are they paying $25 a one-time fee or is this the... Monthly. Monthly. This is the monthly. So they don't have to resubscribe. But if they want to just do it for a month to support and then be like, yeah, I got it for a month. I'm having fun with this. And then they want to tier back a bit. Totally understand that. And so that's people, what people do, do unsubscribe. They can unsubscribe oh, anytime. Anytime. Oh, okay. There's no... So that's another interesting thing. So yes. it's not like they're subscribing for a year. It's they're subscribing. There they... is a way to do that, but... But it's just really monthly. It's normally monthly. And then they... And the, be the best part about the subscribers, though, is that when they do come back and they resubscribe, usually we have it... Not people have it set up to notify. If you're on a smaller stream, usually they have it to notify because it doesn't happen so often. The bigger streamers will probably have it notified, but not as a elaborate as some of the smaller ones can do just because they don't have to they don't have it so often mm -hmm. uh so it's sort of fun to just you know you write your own message in there it mm -hmm. pops up on the screen and you sort of get to enjoy that moment now when people give donations because i mean i also did a podcast with the baker twins yeah. which you're also more than welcome to watch that's going to be in the links in the description below um and they were telling me how they've gotten like their furniture donated and i guess it's because now it makes sense. So Amazon owns Twitch. So then you've got like an Amazon wish list. So then there's furniture and exactly. that's how they got furniture. Yes. Um, but what is like a, the craziest donation you've ever gotten? Uh, the craziest donation I've ever gotten was a thousand dollars just dropped in there. Just a thousand dollars. Like it was just before Christmas. Or was it after Christmas? And yeah, it was just nuts. I don't think... Nothing's happened since then that was that crazy. <laughs> like, I got $100 before, uh, and I was just like, wow, that was insane. Like, what I can't believe it. What was your reaction when you got $1,000? Uh, they actually made a video of it because they, um, I wasn't really? expecting Really? Okay, that. we're going to show some of that video. Oh, I don't think we're going to. Oh, no, you're going to send it to me, and oh, we're going to show some of that video. No. Wait, it's still the Sparkle giveaway? So yeah, how did you feel? Uh, overwhelmed. Uh, I was just overwhelmed. I couldn't even put into words what happened, so I just walked away. 
You did. Oh, I could, yeah. It was probably, I, I didn't cry. You know, don't cry. <laughs> of course not. Of course. Um, but yeah, it was pretty emotional. It's uh, a person that's been in my channel for quite a while. And he's like, you know what? You said no one is ever going to do that. And I had a pretty it wrong. I was like, okay. He, okay. Yeah, it, it was very emotional. It was a moment where I just moved. So it was a bit different. It was overwhelming. So um, it caught me a little off guard. I wasn't expecting anything like that. Yeah. It was a pretty crazy uh, day, week. Mm. Yeah. I really, I'm so happy that you were able to come and talk to them about what it's like to just, to be able to be doing this, making some money and not being considered like you're, you're not a big creator and it's not in a bad way or anything, but you're yeah. making some money. Yeah. And you know, I want everyone at home who's watching this to feel inspired to go and create and just not feel like, oh, I, I you know, how am I gonna get a million followers or whatever it is. Um, there's people who don't have that and you know, are, have a community and love it and do it every night and you know, make some money at it. So I thought it was a really interesting perspective and I wanna say thank you and thank you for risking having mom and dad watch They're this. They're probably gonna watch this yeah. feeling. Well, surprise, surprise, it's like you're coming out. Okay. <laughs> and before Byron leaves, uh, I give everybody the floor for about 30 seconds to plug whatever it is that they want, where can they find you, and then I'll put all the links in the description, so take it away. Oh, okay, well you can definitely find me on twitch.tv forward slash bbjk26. Mm -hmm. Every day but Thursdays. Thursdays are my day off. Otherwise, I'm usually on there at 10.30 Pacific time. I know you East Coast guys are going to miss me. I'll try to get on earlier, but at least click the follow. doesn't hurt. doesn't cost you anything. And then you can just check it out. There's always VODs. You can always go back and watch the replay of those, which are available. Uh, but otherwise than that, either I'm on Twitter. You can hit me up anytime, as well as Instagram. bbjk 26 cod actually. Because that was back in the Call of Duty days. Yeah. Your Instagram has that? bbjk 26 cod cod It is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. All right. That's good to know. Uh, also, question of the day. I'm really curious who of my audience right here actually has a Twitch account? If you do, can you leave a comment below and tell me who you watch? I would be curious. I feel like you would be curious oh, yeah. to like know. If you're just starting out, let me know. Yeah, yeah. also Send me you. a message. Just send me. Let me see. I'd love to watch some of your content. I yeah. would love to check it out. And obviously, with this podcast, if you know anybody who is looking to make content online and they want to make it their full-time job, please share this video with them. I mean, it's it's really up to only what the audience will do and uh, it won't grow without you and I, I do know that. So um, if you are enjoying these and you find value out of it, just send it to a friend and hopefully they can get some value as well. Um, anyways guys, like I always say, work hard, be kind to one another and hopefully one day you'll be breaking it in. Bye guys. Peace out. P.S. We did this before it got dark. We did! We did it! Are you one of the biggest uh, female Twitch streamers in Canada? Yes. Are you the biggest? Uh, or who is the biggest? Okay.